Hello Hunters, Lord here, back with another Sunbreak set video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a single base set that can be used for any elemental dual blade build. The set, of course, will have no augments on the armor, as that's super RNG, and I don't want to overcomplicate the basics of this set. We'll also be using a very accessible Wex 2 charm with a single level 2 slot. With the new melding introduced in Title Update 3, I'm sure you all have one of these, or a better charm. The basic idea behind the set is to give you guys a very simple cut and dry set and then give you an idea of what you can expand on and the skills you can go for with better charms and curious armors. With all that being said guys, let's go ahead and get straight into the set. Now a small disclaimer before we start, this set is not technically the highest DPS elemental set that you can make, however I opted to go for Bloodlust over the third level of Dereliction, so that way you have the ability to regain your health during the hunt, and you're not running around on 1 HP against 200,000 health afflicted monsters. As far as the weapon goes, you can run any elemental weapon you want. I'm going to be showcasing the Narwa dual blades as they're the best thunder dual blades, but they also have no slots, so it really shows you how much better this set can be if you use other dual blades that have better slots, like the Almudrin dual blades, Magmadron, Auroracanth, Valstrax, etc. You're going to slot in either the Elembane Rampage Deco or your Anti-Species Rampage Deco of choice. Of course, your weapon and your matchup will make that decision a little bit easier for you. As far as the armor goes, we're going to be rocking four pieces of the Chaotic Gore armor here. The head, chest, waist, and legs. This will give us three levels to Strife, which is only behind Dereliction and Elemental Attack up as far as element boosting skills go. We can also get infinite stamina if our red gauge is 60% of our bar or higher, which is just crazy for dual blades. Then we have the Archfiend Arms for two levels to Dereliction, which gives us a massive elemental boost as our health drains and extends the red gauge which makes this skill synergize really well with Strife. The charm, as we discussed earlier, is just Weakness Exploit level 2 with one level 2 slot, which is going to be very easy and most of you should have one of these or even better by now. As far as decorations go, you're going to need two Element Deco level 1s and then a Hard Element Deco level 3, one Tenderizer Jewel, one Critical Jewel, one Wirebug Plus, one Sprinter and Sprinter Plus, one Brace Deco, and then I opted for one Handicraft but you could slot in the third level of Wirebug Whisperer, or any level 3 or lower decoration that you would want could go in here. All in all, before you augment or add a better charm, you will have Critical Eye level 6 for 30% affinity, Element Attack level 5 to boost our element attack, then you're going to have Resentment at level 3, Crit Boost and Weakness Exploit at level 3, then Marathon Runner level 3, which will slow our stamina drain while in Demon Mode by 50%, you're going to have Coalescence at level 3, as well as Strife at level 3. Then you're going to have Wirebug Whisper and Dereliction at level 2. I highly recommend you try to get Wirebug Whisper to level 3, either with this base set or with your augments, as it makes a huge difference on how often you can Spiral Slash during your hunts. And finally, you're going to have Elemental Exploit, Bloodlust, and Flinch Free all at level 1. So now that you guys have the basic skeleton of this set, let's go ahead and look at how you can expand it using Curious Augments. Some skills you could try to include, whether it's by rolling them in curious rolls or by just getting better slots, giving you the ability to slot more decos in. You could look for Burst, also known as Chain Crit, at level 1, but up to level 3 if you have room. Attack boost levels 4 to 7, getting the third level of Wirebug Whisper. You could go for Master's Touch, since the set easily hits 100% crit on weak spots after clearing your frenzy. You also could look to get Element Exploit 3 or just a single level of Critical Element as that could net you an extra 10% damage on your critical hits. You could try to get your Resentment to level 5, and if you're running Fire or Ice Dual Blades, Tiastra or Kushala Blessing could go in any extra level 1 slots that you get with your Curious Rolls. So that's really all that I have for you guys today. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like down below as it's a totally free way for you to show support for the channel and the video. If you're new to the channel or find yourself returning to my videos, you should go ahead and subscribe down below for more Monster Hunter content just like this, including guides, builds, and speedruns. With all that out of the way, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you all have a great day and happy hunting.